Hey, this is Ace Spangler, and this is episode one of building Operation Torch in Lego. Here I kind of just have some of the infantry guys and vehicles that I will be featuring in this new mock that I'm just starting now. So I'll quick just show you these. There's a Panzer 3 i I'm planning on making another one of these to go in the mock, but I need to get some more of these tan all these tan tiles I might eventually replace this to be completely tan but for now since I somewhat short on tan tiles I have it kind of in a desert camo and here I just got a bunch of Afrocorps troops I think there's about 10 of them total here I have, uh, these are the British forces, I have a M3 Grant, which is a variant of the American M3 Lee. It's originally Brickmania's design, the Panzer III was Brickmania's design, this was Brickmania's design for the most part, except for this M3 Grant turret. It was the M3 Lee instructions, and then I just kind of made it into a M3 Grant. And then it, the camos are also custom. And here I have a desert jeep. This one's completely custom. I got some British. There's about 10 British soldiers and just they have the light uniforms for being in Africa, the the desert. So the kind of dimensions of the mock are going to be the same as the Mets mock. You can see that over there. I haven't moved it. I think for the most part you'll probably just see it off to the side. Sometimes I might move it onto my desk, but it, it is pretty heavy, so I didn't move it right now. But here you can see that it is two large gray base plates by two large gray base plates. So the same dimensions as the Mets mock. And kind of... Uh, you might remember from other videos I kind of was explaining about what I was going to build. So it's based in Operation Torch, which was the the British, uh, I believe Americans were involved as well. But here I'm just featuring the British against the Germans in the desert assault. So this will be the... Mark here I'll put a probably an oasis which will be like the British staging area where they stage their attacks and stuff and then I'll have the Germans there'll be kind of dooms dunes I mean sloping down into that oasis spot and then I'll have the German tanks and guys kind of attacking or ambushing the the British in their staging area. So in this video I'm hoping hoping to get done most of the the kind of foundation stuff I was collecting a bunch of bricks and I'll put the foundation kind of similar to the Mets mock if you saw that earlier so hopefully I can get that done I'm trying to finish this mock by June 11 which is World War Brick Minneapolis I'm hoping to bring this mock if I finish it I'll for sure bring the the Mets mock and now let's get building okay coming back to show you guys what I've been building here you can see the the oasis kind of part there here mostly it's just there's the foundations I put in the oasis I didn't get to the foundations on this part for the moment it's kind of just one level at the moment other than the oasis that's kind of a different level than the other parts but i guess you can kind of see the foundation technique that i use this though is different than the other one as you can see i have these technic bricks with the technic pins in them so it comes apart in three sections this one part with the oasis I kept this one whole section just because the oasis is kind of in the middle those sections in the back come apart so there's three different sections two, two of these cubes and then just this kind of rectangle 
So that's all I've really worked on so far. Next I'll go ahead and finish the foundation all along this area like it is in the back. But also I put this to show you guys that I got an order from Brickforge. It's the first order I've ever gotten from them. So let me quick show you guys what I got. The One of the main things I ordered them from them for was these Africorps helmets or hats not helmets they looked pretty good so I ordered a few of those or three of these one fell on the ground there it is I ordered three of those those will probably be in this mock these German helm or not helmets hats look pretty good like a high command hat so I picked up one of those also for this mock I might use these nice berets like there you see back that guy has one these are more of like the actual like army berets the one that that guy's wearing is actually a painter's beret I thought they were army berets while the but one that once I ordered them but once they got here I realized those are actually the painter berets I should have Stopped and thought for a second Lego wouldn't make like the army berets But also I think most of these items I got were just on sale so I just got a few of them another high command helmet Some brown hats three olive green berets Picked a bunch of turbans just because they were really cheap and I guess you never know when you're gonna need some turbans So I ordered four of those I wanted to kind of see what their shields look like, so I, well this one was on sale, so I got that. Also a few helmets, and then these things came free, I guess, I didn't order these. So a nice mace, and I have no idea what this is. But also, I ordered four of their mystery packs, so I'm going to open those for you guys. I haven't opened them yet, so this is the first time I'm seeing the stuff in there. So it looks like some sort of backpack, a light cone thing, a vial or jug. Oh, that's kind of cool. Is that a got? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I think that goes with this, like a gladiator helmet, some goggles. Like an elf sword, like gun holder, some ammunition, another mace, and some claws. So that's the first bag. Here's the next one. Another ammo pouch. Another one of these helmets. Yeah, I think that goes with it. A little axe, spear. I'm not completely sure what this is. Another cone thing. Trident, sword, axe. There's a medic helmet that might. That's kind of cool. Next bag. Okay, what's in here? Some arrows. That's a cool shield. Uh, whip thing. Some hair. I don't know why these are in here, but like a stud thing. Uh, some sort of gun, I think. Sword. Another mace. Another gun thing. Little jug, I think something fell on the floor. Another officer's helmet. Cool. And the final bag. Looks like a some sort of animal thing. It's stuck in there. Looks like a centaur thing. I think they make centaur. So that's cool. Pretty detailed thing. Uh, I don't know what that is. 
Another sword. Cool little grenade. Two more axes. Little sword thing. I'm not sure what these things are. Little cone things. Another little gun thing. Some more goggles. This sword hook thing. So those are cool. I kind of got those random bags just to kind of get an idea of what Brick Forge makes. Overall, I think they're pretty cool. Not all of them really would work for this mock or the Mets mock, but I'll probably do another castle theme thing in the future. So a lot of those things would probably work for that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and keep working on the foundation. Maybe I'll get up even to starting to cover it up. So now I'm going to go ahead and keep building. Okay, coming back to show you guys the progress so far. Well, and also you can see there on the M3 Grand, I have those British soldiers. Those They're wearing those new berets I got from Brickforge and on this... German tank guy. I have the the field cap from Brick Forge. So those look pretty nice. I like the the berets a lot. I, the hats are pretty good, except it seems like they're a little bit big for a minifigure. But the printing on it looks really nice, and so I'll probably still keep them on. So. Now looking at the progress, I've gotten all the first layer foundation done. I started covering up here, kind of some plan ahead. This cover up will kind of go around like this. See as this is just regular bare foundation, I'm going to extend this out like a little bit out here and then the same as the other side. So kind of there's like a slope up effect. There you can see the oasis. It's starting to turn out. Uh, I might add a little bit more to that later but for now I'll leave it like that. And sorry this isn't the most exciting segment just because it's mainly foundation work and foundation's not the most exciting. N next week I have exams so I'll be able to once those get out of the way I will be able to just Get work on this. I made a few brickling coders out to get a lot more tan tiles and or not tiles, just plates, so I can cover this all up. I still have quite a bit from my Kashyyyk mock, so I can. This will I'll be able to start filling on the, this area. Uh, I think this area over here will be another layer up. So then later next segment you'll get a better idea of it. Right now it's kind of just foundations but I guess you can kind of now visualize that the oasis here I'll have like a little British base around here then I'll kind of slope up around there be some hills and the Germans the tank will be attacking. I still have to make another Panzer III but here's the mock so far. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next segment.